Hey guys, what's going on? It's Nock. Welcome back to another episode of Escape Simulator. Today we are back with another workshop map and we've got another one of our Sudoku escape rooms and this one is called Tomb of the Sudoku. So we have some bits and pieces, uh, just basic Sudoku rules. So here we have the X sum Sudoku, which is a new rule for us. A clue outside the grid shows the sum of the first of the first X digits along that row or column where X is the first such digit. So I guess we got, uh, yeah. So as you can see, you got 14 there. So those three cells have to add up to 14. And there's some examples in the side room. We got Killer Sudoku, I should know. I'm quite familiar with this. The clue is the top left corner of the cage and you have to sum to that in the cage. Digits may not repeat within a cage. There is a secret message for you is that uh, all, all of the numbers add up to 45 in the grid. So there are some restrictions, like I see it's going to be a three, 312 sort of thing. Let's just have a quick look in our um, example room. So let's have a look. First, sum of first dig X digits is uh, 12. So you've got that and that like that. And we've got 12 again here. However, this time it's across all of those so interesting what's quite interesting here though is it doesn't tell you how many digits there are you need to, to use which is um, interesting so oh no sorry I, I totally get it on the first digit tells you how many there is so there's three there four there and two there okay so I overlook that um, let's turn on the marking buttons and uh, all right let us jump in then. Okay, so we have a, I already know the this one is a 8-9 because um, I also play another pencil puzzle game whereby um, two digits, the only two possible digits can make 17 are 8 and 9. So this means here is going to be a 1 or a 2 depending on this value here. Now it's going to be the 2 for the simple fact that the first digit denotes how many of the cells are in this addition here. So we can take our two, we can place that there. We can also place our eight there and our nine here. And we are already off. Okay, so we now have to make um, we make eight in this, these cells here, right? Um, make eight out of what so it's not gonna be it's not gonna be six it's gonna be six or seven because I think it's gonna be a one or a five three well we know it's got to be hold on we, we know this has got to be a four four or a five and the reason for that is we know that the, these four numbers here in this cage have got to add up to 10, although these three numbers here have got to add up to 10 going here. Now, I think this is going to be a four. The simple fact is that we know this adds up to eight, um, which would leave us with two. And... It was two, but we can only make the, the final two with one digit, either a one or a two. So that's going to be a four. Excellent. Okay, so this has got to be a one, three, which gives us the other four, meaning this one, bit of a voice break there. Sorry, I've done a one and two. That should be a one and a three. Which means the one on the other side of the wall has to be our two. Okay, so we've placed a two there. Now, similarly here, I've got a killer cell here with 16. I know that this has got to be a seven, nine pair. And we've already got our nine there, which means we can place the seven here. And the nine, if we can find it, will go here. Excellent, okay. So far, so good. Now we have a killer Sudoku cage here, which we still, we don't know what we're looking for here on the um, killer Sudoku there. So we just need to 
Let's see what we can do. Once this has been moved, we'll see the value of that cell there. Um, we might be able to make some progress. Okay, so let's look. We've got two cages here to make eight. Well, we know that the fours can't go in either of those because we can't make four out of two cells because we need to have two cells, uh, two fours, sorry, to um, do that. Now, interestingly enough as well, we know this, um, these four digits here add up to 10. And we know that when all nine digits together, they give us the, uh, 45. So 10 take away 35. Uh, sorry, 10 add 35 is our 45. That means we are going to have to use five cells to make 35. Therefore, our first number here is going to be a five. Okay. Five. So we've got a 10 here. Need to make sure about that. We've got to make a 10 down these cells here. Well, we know it's going to be. It's not going to. It's not going to run into this one. And possibilities. Well, we we can maybe we might be able to work out some of the other values of this 35 here, based on what we have here. So we know we've got a one, two, three, four. So we've got five, six, seven, eight, nine. We know eight and nine can't go in here. Can't be eight and nine. We've already used a five, so it's a seven, six. Which would mean this can only be a one or a two. We've already used a two, which means this has got to be a one, which forces this to be the seven. Okay, so these two cells, interestingly, have to make nine. We have to make nine. So we could be looking at a 5-4. Oh, we already used a 5, so we can't use a 5-4. So we could use a 6-3. Six, 6 and 3 could work. It could be a 6 and a 3. It, that 3 would have to go there because of the 10 constraint. What other numbers could make 9? Uh, we've already used a 7, so we can't use 2-7. 8 and 2. We've already used 8 and 2, so there we go. I think that's answered that. Um, this one here, that's got to be a 3. This one's got to be a 6. Now, that forces this one here to be a 2 by the restriction of the cage, which means a 4 can only go somewhere. Okay, sorry about that. Uh, where was we? So I know a four has to go either here or here. That's about all we know from here, but it's saying that we should be able to identify what goes here. We've got four, nine, and an eight. All we know is that the four can't go there. Nine, so this has got to be nine or eight. And here we have got, well, this can't be the nine. Okay, so yeah, we can answer that then. The nine goes here. And then this means we've got a five, eight pair in this uh, column here. And now that cage has opened up there. All right, so we've got a 44 here. Um, let me tell me what box this is anywhere. Oh, this is box five. So this is the center box. Box five. So there is another box over there somewhere as well, which I know then. I know for a fact the one, the digit right at the end will be a one. So I can place that as an eight. But I make 11 here. We've got an eight. We've got a nine with three digits. So we can place this one. Sure, how at the moment this has got to be eight, so I think this would be a three. Three and eight make 11. That was a one. If that was a one, I 
Okay, so thinking about this, it's got to be three. Three and eight is 11. The only other way to make three is one and two, but this needs to denote how many along here I've got to think. Obviously one or two won't make 11, so then this does force this to be the three. Okay, so we don't know how we can make eight. We could make it with, well, we can only make it with one or one, two, and that will make that six, seven. So one, two, six, seven. Can we eliminate any other numbers? No, we haven't got anything else there at the moment. It's saying, however, though, we can work out what is the value of this nine cage is here. So what's the lowest possible combination we could do to make nine? It would be, um, it would be what? The lowest possible combination, one, two, six. One, two, six. Well, one, two, and six are all used there, so it's not going to be one, two, six. It could be one, three, five. Can't be a three. Oh, oh, man. I'm not. I'm not particularly great at Killer Sudoku. I'll be honest. I'm not the best. Five. Five, one, three. There's got to be five, one, three. Is there any other combinations it could be? 612, which we said we've ruled out because of. Well, I mean, it could still be 612. Couldn't rule that out. Although, that would force. That can't be 612, because, okay, we can rule that out. Because the two is seen by all of these cell, this cell and this cell, because of that box there, and then this row here. So it can't be 612. So we could try a five, one, three, which would make that a five or a one. But, you know, I don't really know. Two, four, three, no, we can't have two. We know we can't have a two. One, three, five. Hold on a minute, three has to go here or here, so that has to be a three. Because the three has to go in this column here, it's already in the middle here, and it can't go there. So we know that a three is in this number. So we've got to make nine, we've got to make six out of two numbers. If it's one and five, that has to be the one there because the one is going to be restricted from here. So is that the one? It is. All right, so it's three, one, and this one then should be five to finish that cage off there. And we've got six here. So if we had six there, we need to make 14 from two numbers. The six would be made up of one, three, one. Oh, we can take that. Sorry, I'm just going to do this real quickly. That can't be a one. That can't be a one. So that can't be a seven. So that's a two and a six. So if we're making six here, we can't make a six with three numbers. So I think this is going to be a two number. So I think this is two and four. The reason we can't do it with three numbers is because uh, that could be a two. That can't be a two. Yeah, okay, we could still do it with... Okay, not sure. Make 20 with five numbers, though. See, this is where I kind of, like, really struggle. I know if you add one... One, two, three, four, and five, that gives you 15. So you could add two, three, two, three, five is 10, four. Okay, so it's two, two, three, four, five, six. Let's base that on that for now. Uh, two, three, four. That's the lowest possible way to make 20. I think it's the only possible way to make 20 with this, this amount of digits, actually. So, okay, so we've identified these cells here, hopefully. 
So that means a one has to go here or here. I said a one, not a four. But we know a one can't go there because we can't make 27 starting with a one. So I think our one goes here. That leaves us with seven, eight, nine, which means a nine will go here. We know a six can't go there. So that would make that the six. So we're going to have to make six with two numbers, which gives us a two here and a four here. Two, four, six. That becomes five and three. And then what else have we got left in this row? It's a seven, seven, eight. Well, we've already got uh, an eight there. So that becomes seven and that becomes an eight, hopefully. Uh oh. We didn't do that right. Okay. Okay, so we made a mistake. Oh, of course. We can't put a two there. But maybe, so maybe we have to use a one. Unless it is three, two, one. Three, two, one would make six. How do we make 14? We can make 14 with a... Okay, let's, let's try this again. Three. So that would be a two and a one. This is where I struggle with Killer Sudoku. Like I say, I'd... Like working out like the different combinations of, of numbers and bits and pieces so if we've got six in the middle we need to make 14 we can make 14 using um nine and five eight and six nine and five eight and six well we know that can't be eight because of that so that takes away six so if we assume that that would be that's right there just for the time being five nine that's what we've got left one two three we've got four six seven eight eight's in here four's here Six, seven, eight. Learn about the six and the seven. Learn about the six and the seven, but how can I tell here? Oh, well, okay. That would be that. So, I don't know how to identify the... I don't know how to identify the... between the one and the two. This becomes the six seven if this is right but we need to we need to know what the difference is between these two where did we place a th uh, three there so that doesn't help us with this one um, two three four five and this is a this becomes a six seven right This becomes a one. Or this is four and eight. One, two, three. Eight. Can't go here. That should finish that off. One, two, three, four. Oh, that's wrong because there's a four and a six left. Ah! <laughs> uh, okay.
We know that six is right. I want to. Oh, that's why I said that's a. Yeah, no, that's a six and eight. Why oh, I said that's a five. Pencil marks. It's a five and yeah. Okay, so that is an eight. Let's say panic over. What about the five? But that becomes a six. It was six and seven there. Okay, so we knew that. Six and seven. Four and eight. That has to be the one. So this leaves us with a four, five. And we don't know anything else about that at the moment. Be able to differentiate between anything else there. Still not sure how I can set a one or a two here. Oh, wait a minute. 27, 27 over four digits. That can't be right, surely. Got four, eight, five, 12. So, yeah, that can't be right because we've got 12 there plus five. Which gives us 17. Well, we can only add one more and we need another 10. So 4 and 8 is not right there. All right, let's let's try and figure this out a little bit more. What numbers have we got left? If we take away one, two, five, and nine, we have four. It's not going to be eight in that top left. It can't be because of that eight there. It's six. Six. I think it's got to be a six. So we've got six. Six and five is 11. That's 21. 22. 23, 24. That would make that three, which isn't right. I don't, I'm still not happy with this six. I don't, I don't think the six is right. It's got to either be. So you've got to be a three or a two here. Because we can't make six with one. We can't. You just can't by this, the way this rule works. That was that. That would be two and three as well. Now, this would restrict this cell here to be a three. that was correct with a one going in here this is all right okay so we've got that there it's 27 let's go back to the 27 we've got 15 we've got 20 so here we would need to make seven from two digits oh hold on no no we would need to make four from two digits which would mean that three is not right Because we'd have to use 1 and 3 to make 6, 11, 20, 23. We need to make 4. Okay, so that's not. Okay, it's the other way around. Has to be the other way around, I think. Well, thought, kind of thinking going on, isn't it? Okay, so we've got... <clears throat> excuse me. That's assuming... A, I mean, that's assuming that's not involved. But if we put a 6 there, it has to include it. So 1, 10... 21. We need to make six from two numbers. What two numbers that we have can make six? We've got four and two, one and five. Well, it can't be one and five, so this has to then be four, two.
means this can't be two. So I think here, we, we have to go for the one three. Okay, so that becomes a one, that will become a three. Three, one, two, four. Yes. Okay. Okay. So this, um, this still stays five nine because we do have the six there. That's fine. Okay. Let's see what we've got now in this top section here. Looks like we can place six cells here. We've got a 29 cage. Two, three. Excuse me. 29 from five digits. Hold on a minute. Place a few more here. So a six has to be placed here or here. Know that much. Twos has to go here. Ones have to go here. I'm going to use Snyder notation just so I don't get too many digits. So I'm only putting digits down if they're only restricted to two cells is basically what that means. I need to try and work out how I can make 29 from five digits. The 45 is our top as our maximum. We could take away 11 from the first four digits, one to four, which isn't going to leave us with enough. We know one isn't part of it though. One is restricted to two locations, and we know two is not part of it. So that would give us 42. 42 take away 29 is 13. So what two digits can we make use to make 13? Let's just take away the one and the two. Probably gonna be left with quite a few here that could make 13. So we could have four and nine, Yes, yeah, so we've got four, nine, five, eight, six, seven. So one of those pairs isn't going to make up the um, isn't. It's going to be in one of the the other cells on the outside. But because it stretches across multiples, uh, it's going to be difficult, isn't it? The only number we are sure that is in it at the moment is a three. Do we know enough about a three? Yes. We're confident a three has to be in it. This has to be a three. This has to be a six. So that, therefore, the six, seven will be the pair. Will it be the pair that's outside? Seven can't go there anyway. In a possible place, sevens. In a possible place, seven could go. Would be there if it was part of it. I can't place a six in there, and I can't place. Okay, so six and seven are not part of this. I'm confident of that. Okay, so one, two, six, seven aren't part of it. Let's see if we can narrow down any options in this cell, in these cells here. We've got a five. Four, five, seven, nine. Well, seven, nine can't go there. So this becomes seven, nine pair. That becomes a four, five pair. And we know that the five can't, the four can't go there, so that has to be a five, and this has to be a four. 
Comes nine seven. We can't place anything else with that here. Doesn't give us any further information on that either. So far, we've got seven in this cage here. So we still need to make twenty two. We've used four. It's going to be eight nine and five. Five's already been used there. As is nine, so that comes five nine. We're meaning, I think, why? Well, it's say meaning. It's going to mean an eight goes there. We don't have any fives placed on this center. We do know that five has to go there. Five nine. Okay, so if 5 and 9 is going to go there, we can place a 9 here and a 7 there. Okay, 7s. I don't know where... Where it's going to go though, do we? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 9. That would make that an 8 up here. Five nine. What else have we got here? Seven can't be there. Oh, there's a nine there. Hopefully, the next bit will open. He says. So, what numbers we've got left here? One, two, seven, and four. Can't be a two. Can't be a one. Can't be a four. Has to be a seven. Yes. All right. So let's just see. One, two, fours can go anywhere here. Just put them in a nice little slide notation, but uh, we'll place it there. So five and nine. This has to be a five. This has to be a nine. Which leaves with a seven, eight, which is a seven. And this is an eight. Here we've got a six and a seven. And the rest of our puzzle is now open for us, so we can uh, hopefully start to look at some different bits and pieces here. Okay. Uh, so, what cages have we got here? We've got a three, so we know this is a two and a one straight away, uh, which then means this last digit has to be a three. 16 from 2 is a 7 and an 8, which means 4, 5, no restrictions at the minute. So that is a 4 or a 5. And then we've got a 10. All right, so we're, we're pretty restricted with what we can use. We, can't, we can only use a 6, 4, yeah, 6 and a 4. 6 and a 4 are the only two digits that can go here. Which means we can place a five here and a four here. And then we can place a five here. I feel like we're getting to the unwinding stage now. So it's got one, two, three, uh, four, five, six, seven, and that becomes an eight. Excellent. So here we've got a three. Three, seven, eight. That's a seven. That comes three, eight pair. And then here we've got one, two, two, four, six. Which means we've got a one, one, eight, nine bottom. No, we can't have an eight on the bottom. I got an eight, already used an eight. Panic over, panic over. It's all right, it's all right. Um, one, two, three, four, five, one, five, nine. But that can't be a five, so that's a one, two, three, four, five, one, five, nine. 
five, nine, nine, one, five, nine. Now we might be able to do something a little bit extra here. We know that the five goes here. And the reason for that is that one, five, nine makes 15 plus the six equals our 21. So that becomes a one, nine pair. Okay, we've got some fives placed up here. We can place a five just here. And just so we need to drop five from this. So I'm guessing this is going to be a one four at the bottom here. It's a one four. Back to the rest of it in a moment. Which makes that the nine. Now we can come back up to here, and we know our first digit will be a seven, because we're going to use seven digits to make the 40 down here. Um, looking at the cage digit here, we need to make six more in these two digits, which we will come back to momentarily, just seeing if we've opened up anything else at the moment. I don't think we have. Uh, actually, we have. We place a two there and a one here which means a one's going to go down here, either in this location or this location. Uh, seven, nine, four, six. We've got a four placed, so that's a six and a four. Four, four. So fours have got to go in this column here. For the minute we don't know anything about fours. Uh, we do, actually. We know the four's got to go to the top. I know I missed that one. So four has to go there. That takes a four away from there. Okay. I'm forgetting there's a run key on this. Um, okay. Winding up. Winding up. Look at this top. Okay, so we need to make six. So we can either use... It's got to be two, four. We've already placed a four. So four goes there. And a two goes here, which will leave that as a one there. This should allow us to unwind some of the stuff over here now. One, two, four. And threes, three, threes, threes. Not seeing it at the minute. What have we got left? Three, six, eight, nine. Nines are all placed. Eights. Anything down here which shows me an eight? No, there isn't. Six. Threes. So that's three eight pair. Checking down the row, make sure it's not there. Three eight, not three two. Okay, final stretch. Final stretch. We've just placed a nine, so we can put that there and the seven there. And two, six, two, six, uh, eight and three. Oh, eight and three. We've got two eights and threes. How do we? I don't have to disambiguate between these two. Hold on, hold on. There was a 44 somewhere, wasn't there? Yes, there was a... Uh, oh, no, that's there, though. Yeah, I don't know how to disambiguate between this 8 and 9. Um, I mean, I'll, I'll just try this, I guess. Oh dear. We've made a mistake somewhere. Don't know where though, because we've placed all our values. I mean, well, let's swap the, the seven and the, the eight, the three and the eight rounds, just in case it is just as simple as that. Yeah. 
I, so yeah, I don't know. I don't know if I did something wrong there, but how are you meant to disambiguate between that eight and nine that I'm ended, I've let, been left with? Without sort of guessing like that. That's um, very interesting indeed. Can I wear the cowboy hat? I guess not. There we go. Always a pleasure to do one of these um, Sudoku escape rooms. Really enjoy them. And um, hopefully uh, you enjoyed my solve process throughout the entirety there. Thank you very much for watching, guys. So hopefully there'll be some more Sudoku ones coming real soon. But I do know this author does have some other puzzles which I've added to my workshop um, subscribe list as well. So we'll be uh, hopefully tackling those real soon as well. But until next time, guys, I've been Nock. You've been awesome. Thank you very much for watching. Stay safe. And until next time. Happy gaming. Bye, guys.